have some fun. Little playtime with Viv is what I kind of figured. I have, you know, over 25 decks and figured I would pull some cards. Hi, hi everyone. And just kind of um, see if we can stay connected and see what tarot tells us if there's anything inspiring that um, we can get from spirit, right? With all of this uncertainty that's going on. Hi, Sandy. Hi, everyone. Hi. Um, thanks for joining me. I just was saying that I figured I would kind of just do maybe like a quickie little video every day, playtime with Viv. Pull some cards. I have, you know, over 25 decks um, that I can, you know, pull cards and just see if we can get inspired and see if there's any any messages that we can get from spirit and from the cards, right? All, all these beautiful um, cards. I've got the moon deck. I have tarot. I have all these inspirational decks. Um... Wisdom cards, goddess cards, you name it. I got it. Um, so, what do you guys think? Does everybody want to pull a couple cards and see what we get? And I was also thinking, like, maybe I would do, like, some major discounts on, on readings, like, for the next two weeks. Because everyone's home, people are out of work, people still, you know, want to connect and get inspired, and so I thought, maybe I should do that. What do you guys think? How's everybody doing today? What's, uh, what's on everybody's minds? Is everyone, like, getting in fear and uncertainty? Is everybody living from that place, or... Is everyone trying to stay positive and, uh, you know, get through it by how, how do we get through it? You're still working, Melissa? That's good. That's really good. As long as you're still, you know, keeping the energy flowing, that's the important thing, right? Um, but that's a lot, of, like, a not, not a lot of people's reality. A lot of people are out of work. They're not, you know, making any money right now. And so that's really scary, especially when you've got your mortgage and your rent due. Um, so definitely, what are the things that we can do to... Um, hi, how are you, sweetheart? Um, how, what are the things that we can do that will keep us moving in the direction of faith and not um, fear, Right? Because even though danger is real, fear is a choice. So I think everyone's doing the right thing by staying, you know, away from large groups and trying to take precautions. But we could be taking it to a whole other level as well. And that's not what we want. To the point where um, we start getting into economic disparity <laughs> I mean that is definitely not something that we want we want to definitely stay in a mindset and an energy of positivity and flow and encouragement and enlightenment hi Rose hi guys hey oh I'm so glad I got I got my little crew here with me today it was just going to say that I'm going to pull some cards as I've got over 25 decks and I thought why not pull a couple cards that could you know inspire and enlighten us and remind us to stay in alignment with who we truly are um, as uh, souls uh, and not going into the energy of um, fear right fear and disparity if there's anything that I learned in these last couple years, it's how to survive with minimum, right? I had to let a lot of things go. I've had to let a lot of people go. I've had to let a lot of, um, you know, comforts that I was used to, jobs, clients, money, 
um, and just kind of get by with, with the minimum. And when you learn how to survive on the bare minimum and, and not, um, depend on that abundance, then when things like this happen, then you can kind of float through it. And so that is my hope for everyone that everyone just learns how to just pause be present in the moment, allow whatever it is that's happening, um, surrender to it, be patient and wise, and um, stay in your trueness and your source, not your ego of fear, and you know, allowing that fear to take over. So, got a little card that, oh my God, literally, I just said this. I literally just said this. You guys, did you not hear me just say I surrender? Then this card popped out. I surrender to a power greater than me. I literally just said this. I surrender. Learning how to surrender is one of the greatest lessons that I think I could have ever learned. And surrender is very different from giving up or being hopeless um, surrender is, comes from a place of just acceptance and faith. It comes from a place of an, an inner knowing where you just know that things will work out and that you are experiencing whatever this is, um, for a reason and for a season and know if you know the universal laws, then you know the law of reciprocity, which means that Things cannot always stay the same, right? Things have to change. It is a universal law. They have to change. So this situation cannot, absolutely cannot stay the same. Things will shift just like the ocean. The ocean, the waves go out and then they come back in and they go out and they come back in. That is the law of reciprocity. They, things cannot stay the same. Yeah, of course, we're dealing probably with the law of you know, other laws as well, um, cause and effect and why we're in this position. But when we experience things like this, we learn so much and we're able to just take a pause and reflect and be present in the moment because understand that being present in the moment, not being in your ego and letting your thoughts overcome you and your fear, that is true spirituality. And so here's a real test, you know, are we going to be present in the moment and practice gratitude and patience and appreciation and unconditional love and community, right? Do we practice all of those things? Do we practice the, the law of oneness or do we freak the fuck out and everybody, you know, goes and buys 10,000 rolls of toilet paper and then we don't have any for everyone else? My gosh, here's my next card that I got. Uh, when I introduce joy to a situation, I change the vibrational frequency of what's happening around me. You guys, literally these two cards together, when you surrender and when you stay in your true source, which is joy, faith, love, right? When you stay in this energy, your true soul, not ego, which is fear, then you're able to experience things at a whole other level. You're able to experience things in the, in, it is what it is. It just is what it is. I surrender to it. I surrender to it and I will, we will get through it, right? Hi, Libs. Hi, Libs. Um, and so I was just pulling some cards to try to keep everyone inspired and, and um, and see what messages that we have. And we're talking about staying in your true source, in your soul, um, as opposed to ego. And, and then these two cards came up, which is surrender. I surrender to a power greater than me. This is exactly what we need to do at this time. And I, I was explaining that surrender is not about hopelessness or you know, chaos. Surrender is, I allow whatever it is to, to be.
because it just is. And sometimes life just does what it does. And so you allow it and you get through it and you continue to try to, you know, stay connected with the community. And when I introduce joy to a situation, I change the vibrational frequency of what's happening around me. This right here. Are you? Oh, that's a good book. Hi, Nyla. Oh my God, babe. It's been so long. Hey, girl. Um, surrender experiment. Libby just said, I'm reading the surrender experiment again. I haven't read that book, but I do know, like I was saying, that in you know these last couple years, the one thing that I've had to learn is surrender. And it's just surrendering to what is. And keeping in mind that... Um, that okay unbound this is a great card to get releasing soul patterns contracts and past lives i really think that whatever's going on is for this reason i think everyone that's in a community of consciousness and awakening you know there we are connecting in a very powerful way um, supporting each other and remembering that it's all about the law of oneness, right? Unbound, unbounding ourselves from the bullshit, from the stuff that we are prisoners to, unbounding yourself from your own ego, right? Your own ego, which is fear and, and uh, um, uncertainty, right? You cannot live from that place. You have to live from freedom. And that's, that only comes from your soul. Your soul is the only thing that's, that's true, right? That's the only thing that is real and that is true. And that is your soul. Because your ego will tell you lies. It, will, it needs evidence, right? Your thoughts need evidence. You need proof. And there is none. There, there is none. That's just not reality. Life is meant to just be experienced and to go through it and to, to just flow through it. So staying in, in your soul is like when you're like, well, this is what it is. Like, it's an experience. It's, we're going to get through it. Um, yeah. And, and like I was saying yesterday in my video yesterday, like nobody's getting out of this alive, y'all. <laughs> Nobody gets out of this life alive. Sorry, you know, if you thought that you were. But we don't, and you know we we gain all of these attachments and um and that's the thing is how do you live your life even when things are scary and uncertain, but live live it through um a feeling of unattachment, right living just because it is what it is and being a little bit unattached to um, the circumstances. Does that mean you check out and you numb and you have no emotion? No, but the true spiritual goddess does master her emotions. That's the whole fucking point, right? That's the whole point of spiritual growth and spirituality. It is knowing that you are a soul and not your ego and not your thoughts. You are not your thoughts and mastering your emotions, right? Being neutral, Hey, girl, I get to meet you soon, madam, at our um, uh, readings in uh, the loft readings in L.A. I'm excited to meet you. Um, so we're just chatting a little bit and I'm putting pulling some cards and trying to make everyone play, you know, playful. Remember to play like I was thinking today. What are the things that I can do to, you know, I'm home. I'm going to be home for a few weeks. Um, I'm you know, still doing readings, but my job is on hold for a couple weeks. Um, and it's like, what are the things that I can do? Well, I could pull cards for all y'all, right? I could continue my readings. I can, you know, um, enjoy essential oils. I can watch movies with my kids. I can laugh. I can laugh. I can dance. Um, I can listen to music that I love. I can Focus on all of the things that I do have and not the things that I don't have, like toilet paper. <laughs> Hi, Donna! Aww. Hey, everybody. Um, so, yeah, and, like, that's what we tend to do is, like, everybody fucking gets all hysterical and everybody goes into panic mode. 
And what do we do? We focus. We focus on what we don't have. We focus on lack. We focus on lack. That is absolutely what we are being called to not do right now. Oh, you're so cute. I do not think that I was really pretty right now, Donna, but thank you so much. I have like no makeup on. It's probably the pretty light coming from, from behind. <laughs> um, but yeah, like these are the types of things that we could do. It's like focus on what we do have and not what we don't have. So I could sit here and be like, oh my God, I don't have a job for two or three weeks. How am I going to do this? How am I going to do that? Um, I don't have any toilet paper. There's a thousand things that I could focus on, but I'm going to dance. I'm going to laugh. I'm going to sing. I'm going to cry if I need to cry. I'm going to pull cards. Um, I'm going to share resources with my tribe and with my community and my beautiful soul sisters and my friends and my family. This is the law of oneness. This is the whole fucking point. This is it. You're going to see. You're going to see when it, when the world goes in disarray like this. This is when you see shit go down. This is when you really know who are the ones that are connected and that are able to, um, you know, you utilize resources and share resources and share gifts and stay in a state of emotional mastery, right? Emotional mastery is the key. Do you lose your shit and lose your mind and start to let it affect everything? Or do you stay grounded? You know, what are the things that I do that keep me grounded? I do breath work. I do my deep breathing. I do my meditations. I pray. I stay in gratitude. Okay, y'all, I'm not all crazy, you know, super spiritual person and like, oh, Zen all fucking day long. No, that's not who I am. Hi, Lizzie. Hi, you guys. That's not who I am. Um, um, but it's an integration of all of it. You know, I can, I can do all of these things by staying grounded emotionally, by remembering who I truly am as a soul and who I truly am as a soul is free.